These two previous Hackathon open source projects are the foundation for our COVID-19 Hackathon project called Connecting to Ventilators in Entirely New Ways. You're looking at a design here of a do-it-yourself ventilator. There's a huge ventilator shortage in the world right now, and ventilators and, of course, trained medical staff are critical parts of the solution to fight against COVID-19 until we can develop a vaccine. Do-it-yourself ventilators will only be adapted if we can monitor them closely and intervene if there's an issue. We used Arduino boards to drive and monitor the ventilator, but you could use any device that can HTTP post or HTTP get into our Heroku endpoint to get your monitoring and lifecycle data into Salesforce to leverage our hackathon functionality. We're using standard Salesforce Health Cloud, custom objects, lightning components, and lightning flow to manage the entire lifecycle of the ventilator. We accommodate three types of ventilators in our project. Do-it-yourself, refurbished, and professional. Do-it-yourself has the most detailed diagnostics and monitoring workflow. Salesforce Health Cloud can accommodate several lifecycle steps, but this project auto-provisions a new do-it-yourself ventilator and begins quality assurance testing on it as soon as it connects to Salesforce. After it is tested, it is moved to inventory, and when a patient is added to the patient triage list, they are assigned to a ventilator, and intensive monitoring of both the patient and the machine commences. This dashboard is a Salesforce Lightning component and provides visibility into all the ventilators at this location. At a glance, you can see all the machine and patient metrics and drill down into a specific measurement, like in this case, SpO2. When there's an anomaly in the device or in the patient, a Health Cloud Service Cloud case is created with all of the details pushed from the ventilator and the patient. Standard Salesforce messaging is leveraged for issue notification and messages to the doctors and nursing staff. Thanks for watching.